Hi guys, this is lesson number 40 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to make page curl or in another word, you can say that how to fold a paper corner in Coral Draw. As you can see in my screen, I have an image with two folded corner. You can see from upper left and lower right corner. And this beautiful effect we apply in Coral Draw using page curl command. Using page curl command, you can apply this effect to the vector object such as a rectangular shape or any other shape that you will create in Coral Draw. And you can also apply this effect to the image. But directly, you can apply this uh, paper fold only from one side. In this lesson, I will explain you how to create two corner fold. And another thing, once you will create vector objects such as a rectangular shape, the paper fold corner, it will be transparent. It will maintain transparency. But once you will apply to the image, it will give the background. I will show you also how to remove the background from the image as well. Right now in my screen, I have only two element. You can see that this is image. And uh, under that image, we have a simple background that is rectangular shape. And I match the color with the image. So it looks beautiful. Control Z undo. Simply if you apply this effect to the vector object, it works this way. You can see that I am going to create one rectangular shape here. Just I use rectangle tool to create one rectangular shape. We can fill with color. Any of our desired color we can fill. We can remove outline and here we have object. Click on pick tool. If I want to apply the page curl command, I will go to the effect. And here we have 3D effects. And under this we have page curl. If I will click it, you can see that from the upper left corner, the page curl it is applied and you can see that the corner is folded and here you can see that the four button here you can see that four control we have from upper left and right and from lower left and right from any side you can apply this effect now the selected is upper left if I will click on this one this small icon you can see that the side it has been changed and uh, I can click on lower left or lower right also, you can change the direction. Now it is horizontal. If I will click on vertical, you can see that it goes this way. Under this here, we have a transparent. This transparent option, it will apply transparency to our fold. As you can see that here in our image, the transparency you can see that from the flower here in the fold. So this is how it works. And under that we have here curl color and background color. Background color it will work with the image and curl color it works for both vector and image so right now you can see that here we have orange color if i want i can change you can use even eyedropper if you want to choose color from the object i can click on eyedropper and click here so you can see that we have same color here and if you want to make your desired color you can just click on this icon here small button show color viewer click it and you can create your own color this way so you can see that here we have dark pink shade in our page curl so this is how it works under this we have width and height this will affect our fold if i will reduce you can see that the fold is less and if i will increase here it will be more under that we have height this is how it works okay so i am happy with this setting i will click okay so you can see that simply we apply page curl corner fold to our vector object. One thing you will observe here, if I will click and drag here to bring this object or this background, you can see that in our corner under this fold, there is a transparency. In vector object, it's maintained the transparency. But once you will apply this effect to the image, manually you need to remove the background from the corner. So let's see how it's done. I will just delete this. Let's move to the side, zoom tool, fit to page height and uh, first thing I'm going to import the image. So I'll go to the file, import. As you can see that I have that beautiful image here. I'm going to import in my page. I'll just place this way. All right. It's good idea to create background now. So once I will apply effect, you will understand better. So I will click on rectangle tool. 
and here I am going to create one rectangle just like this. Now this rectangular shape it is in front of the image we can fill with color let us say gray color okay and it is on the top of the image right click here to remove the outline go to object order to back of the page. Now that rectangular shape is at the back side if I want to get some color from this image directly I can double click on this swatch here at the bottom double click and use eyedropper to choose your desired color from the image click on eyedropper and uh, let's say this color here okay so this color I choose and now I can make it bright some lighter version of this color and then click okay so this is how we have a background to align perfectly vertically and horizontally we can use alignment feature now this background is selected I can press shift key and click on the image both of them are selected here we can press C letter C for horizontal alignment okay horizontally it is aligned and then press letter E for vertical alignment okay so now our image is perfectly centered C and E you can get here once you will go to the object here we have align and distribute and you can see that here we have a shortcut C for horizontal alignment and E for vertical alignment. Alright. So we have image and background. Now we are going to apply that effect corner fold effect to our image. Click outside select the image and simply go to the effect 3D effect and here we have page curl. You can see that the effect is applied and uh, here I want to make some adjustment. Alright here we have direction you can see that I want in this direction so this is the setting here I can change the color I will choose some color from the background so we can use here eyedropper okay that is fine under this here we have a background color you can see that the background color is applied if I will choose another color it will be clear for you look at this this how with the image on page curl command the color appears so for now I can choose the color for the background I can click on eyedropper and choose my background color so you can see that it looks like it is transparent but it is not it is just same color so we cannot feel for now it is ok and I can click ok so this is how we apply this corner fold and let's try now from the upper left we'll go to the effect once again click on 3d effect and then click on page curl now you can see that the effect is applied from lower right if I want I can apply from the upper left but what will happen if I will click on this icon here you can see that the effect it replaced from the right side to the left so at the same time we cannot apply this effect both side so there is a trick I will cancel here and I will show you the technique now we apply from the lower right side all what we have to do we need to duplicate this image okay so it is selected I will press plus key from the keyboard so in the same place now we have two images if I will move you can see that under this we have another one in the front image I am going to apply from the left side so click on effect 3d effect and here we have page curl so this time I will click on upper left corner so you can see that the effect it's applied and since this image is in the front so we cannot see the effect here so let's click OK at the back of this image we have another image and the effect is applied from the lower right side all what we have to do we need to crop this image from this corner to this corner so simply we will click on the shape tool so you can see that we have points here double click on this point to delete and you can see that now the front image is cropped diagonally if I will click on pick tool and move it so you can see that this way it works control Z undo now the effect is applied from two corners 
but here we have another thing we have two images so how to merge these two images simply we will select this way avoid the background don't select the background only select these two images go to the bitmap click on convert to bitmap 300 resolution it's okay and rgb color since i am recording so i will choose rgb if you want to print you can choose the cmyk and simply click ok now these two images become one and the effect is applied from both sides so somehow if you want to finish up the effect here it's okay but if you want to apply drop shadow this way you can see that uh, with this picture have drop shadow you need to do some further settings because with image here we have a background if i will move this outside i can show you look at this there is a green background so once we will use the drop shadow it will appear in the corner here so let's try now our image is selected and it is a single image since we converted to bitmap we can go to the drop shadow here we have drop shadow click on drop shadow choose your desired preset i am going to choose medium glow here i am going to reduce the shadow feathering around seven or eight okay and uh, apply black color dark color or we can choose some color from the image click on eyedropper and uh, let's choose some color from the image okay we can make it dark now so this is how we have color let's reduce maybe five shadow feathering okay so the opacity the transparency i think it's okay but you can see the problem here the corner is there and the shadow here it's appear with the fold but here it is with a solid background corner so how to remove this background simply we will use once again shape tool click on shape tool and select the image click on the image and you can see that we have a corner here i will zoom it so you will understand double click here exactly on this point once you see this curve double click and now we have one point here in this side also with your mouse cursor there is a small curve line once it's appear double click so we have two points here now all what you have to do you need to bring this point exactly here somewhere and uh, you can see that in this area we need to apply the curve so it's very simple single click in this segment here just click it don't double click and then click on convert to curve now we have two directional handles hold it from the middle and just bring it out this way so you can see that here from these handles you can adjust that's all so this how the background here it's disappeared and same technique we are going to use for this corner so bring your mouse to the segment double click to create point this side also double click to add point and this point we are going to move here wherever our curve is started you can see simply click in the middle of this segment convert to curve hold it from the center and bring it out so you can see that now we have directional handle we can use these directional handles to adjust so guys this is how we apply this beautiful effect from two corner to this image and from the image corner we remove the background using shape tool and we apply drop shadow that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you